Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Valerie. If you're new here, hey. If you're not new here, hey y'all, what's up? Uh, yeah, this is a much <laughs> uh, a update actually. This is a, I was gonna say much needed, but I don't know, it might be needed for uh, some people that are going through the, the uh, same thing that I am going through. And if you are, then um, yeah, welcome to the vlog. So this is a one month update on my um, experience with Zoloft. Uh, sertraline, I've been taking sertraline or Zoloft. Um, one of those is a generic name. But anyway, I'm gonna call it uh, Zoloft from here on out. 50 milligrams, I've been taking it for about a month and a half now. Um, yeah, so let's start off with the side effects that I'm still experiencing. Y'all, quick update, I had kind of a lapse in my treatment because I took, I had a one month prescription, a 30 day prescription for the Zoloft, and then I needed to get another, um, I needed a psychiatrist to renew my subscription. I didn't have an automatic renewal or, or refills on the original prescription. And the um, requirement to get it was that I had to actually speak with a psychiatrist. Uh, for me, my personality, my personality is I am a real rational, like realist type of person. That's the type of personality that I have. And me speaking with a psychiatrist is not in my opinion, um, has it been beneficial to me other than the fact that they can write me a prescription? So um, I had to do like a two hour intake with a psychiatrist that I was not interested in doing. Like I did not feel like having to speak to a whole new person about the reasons why I am experiencing the depression that I have. Um, I don't need the sympathy from a therapist. A lot of the therapists that I've, or psychiatrists that I've been speaking to, you know, they say, oh, you're so brave to step up and this that, and the other. And I'm not looking for sympathy. I want you to hear my story, understand me and write me a prescription. And I don't want to have to keep telling the same story over and over and over again, because um, at, it's come to the point where I've been almost desensitized by the story. And it's starting to not feel like it's really that big of a deal. But my depression symptoms are um, actually, the, the depression is um, a, um, what, I, what am I saying? <laughs> the depression symptoms that are resurfacing is solidifying the reasoning uh, that I need the medication and that it is a big deal. Um, my past traumas and things like that, even though I am starting to become desensitized from it, just from repeating it. So um, that's that on that. I had a long story short, I had like a two week lapse because I did not want to speak to another psychiatrist. So um, I've now I'm back on it. It's been about a month and a half now. I am back on the medication and because of that lapse, I sometimes have a severe headache, similar to the headache that I had when I first started taking the medication. So yeah, I'm still having this very severe headache every so often. Um, still, I'm experiencing a little bit of nausea and that those are the side effects that I'm still experiencing with this medication on 50 milligrams. So moving on to the results, I, for the results, I cannot, uh, what I will say is that the anxiety <clears throat> that I was experiencing, the anxiety has gotten much better. So for the anxiety that I was experiencing, I'll give an example, um, cause I've never had anxiety like this before, but I'll give an example. Like one time I was at the grocery store and I was picking apples. I, I was in, I was shopping for apples and I could not decide what apple I wanted, whether I wanted a Granny Smith or the, um, what the gala or okay so the green the red or the yellow i couldn't decide which apples i wanted then i was wondering like are apples even in season right now i couldn't remember because um 
a part of some symptoms I had from my depression is I was having memory issues. So I couldn't remember if they were in season. Um, I didn't think to like Google it on my phone. It was just like too, so many thoughts were coming to me about the apples and then I was touching them. And then I started thinking about the coronavirus. I'm like, oh God, I just touched all these apples. Um, which color do I want? How many do I want? Should I get, uh, are these in season? It was too many questions and I almost started to cry. Like I felt my heart, my heart was like racing and then I was about to cry. And then I thought to myself, I said uh, to myself, like, why are you getting ready to cry? It's not that big a deal. Just get all the apples. So I ended up getting two of each apples and guess which ones I ended up eating when I got home, y'all? None of them. I ain't eat any of those apples. <laughs> No, I didn't. They all went bad. Well, except for a few. The, the kids ate like one or two. Um, but I didn't eat any of those apples. And I just stressed myself out in that grocery store. Like had a whole panic attack over apples. It is just, you know, like I wanted at that time. I was like, I want someone to come in here and make the decision for me. I, I, I can't make this decision right now. I don't want to make this decision right now. I'm getting ready to cry. I didn't cry in the grocery store only because I didn't want anyone coming to ask me what's wrong. And then I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what color apple to choose. Like, <laughs> I hate it here. This is not funny, y'all. I'm laughing now, but it is really, it's, it's serious, y'all. I'm I'm just silly. But um, yeah, it was just like crazy. So um, that is the anxiety that I was suffering with. And now I feel much calmer. So my, my thoughts aren't racing as much. I will say that. Um, and what I also want to add in is that I do not have the biggest stressors with me that I was having before when I um, during one of the hardest parts of my depression and that is the children the children are with their fathers so um, they my children are like good stress for me um, but also a little overwhelming like the youngest I'm very big on making sure she has new experiences making sure she's trying new foods making sure she's fed um, clothe well, dress well, nicely groomed, and making sure I take her somewhere every weekend. If you look at my vlogs, you'll see that almost every weekend I'm taking her somewhere to have a new experience. And that's very important for me. And if I don't do that, it really bothers me. It really bothers me. I feel like she's missing out on things and I just cannot shake that. Um, it's just how I am and it is what it is. My oldest, uh, she... It's, it's, it's a weird situation for me with her because she is at a point where she can make her own decisions, but I don't like the decisions that she's making. I feel like she can do way better. I feel like she's wasting a lot of time and it really stresses me out when I see her wasting time and energy on things that don't matter because, um, you know, when, when you're a parent, it's just, you, you can only understand if you're a parent. That I'll just leave it at that. So those stressors are kind of gone. Now my stress is my children aren't with me and I want them to be with me um, and I'm missing things and that that, sh that is stressing me out. And um, But I'm not as distraught as I would be had I not been on the, ed the medication that I'm on, okay? So yeah, the medication is working in that aspect. Um, as far as what anxiety and then helping slow down my thoughts. I've also been taking some other measures to help slow down my thoughts. And that would be um, restorative yoga. I've been going to a restorative yoga class. I've also um, increased my vitamin D intake. So I'm making sure um, the supplements are also helping. Uh, doing a bit more exercise staying away from people who have like bad auras and making sure I keep the drama down because I am one to confront people. Um, I'm not really one to hold my tongue. If I feel like there's a problem, I want to know what's the issue. How are we going to get it resolved? Are we going to resolve this or are we just going to be cordial? Um, so <laughs> I've been kind of just like letting it go. Like it, it is what it is. I don't care. My mental health is more important than this and that's that on that. Um, and I want to say that 
Yeah, um, maybe I'll go into a little bit recognizing the symptoms of depression. Um, if you are watching, um, and I know a lot of times like the African American community does not always recognize or, or is always understanding of depression and um, a lot of people may not seek help and um, I would like it to be an advocate and on changing the narrative on that and um, I will start this vlog in this vlog this update I'll let you all know my um, symptoms and how I recognized that I was depressed I'll go over that and then um, yeah so um, how I recognized that I was depressed is that some of the past traumas that I had has surfaced during some major events in my life and the way that I was coping with, the way that I used to cope with those past traumas was no longer working for me. I was definitely a big uh, motivational speaker, listening to motivational speakers, reading motivational books, self-help books, and those were no longer working for me. It almost sounded like those people were like bullying me. Like they're like, what are you doing? You can do it. You gotta get up and go hard for your life. And in the past that really worked for me. It got me through a lot. Um, helped me really turn my life around, graduate college, fix my credit, um, save enough money to even put a down payment on a home, purchasing my first home. Those and helping me raise a teenage daughter as a single mom, those really, really helped me. Whereas when the depression really set in, that no longer helped me. It, it really, um, because I could not um, physically and emotionally, I didn't feel like doing those things that um, was I considered to be um, making myself successful. I didn't feel like it. So listening to people tell me that type of stuff almost felt like they weren't being um, sensitive or understanding to my depression. So I had to stop listening to that and find new coping, um, new ways to cope, new coping skills. And um, on my next update, I can get into my um, new coping skills. Uh, another thing that I, way that I knew, noticed that I was depressed was I did not care about my responsibilities. Whereas I really cared about my responsibilities, really adamant about saving, really anal on saving and budgeting, I, I didn't care. I didn't care to go to work anymore, even though I knew I had responsibilities. I was not concerned about doing my hair anymore, even though I love getting my hair done, getting dialed up. I didn't care about getting my nails done, even though I used to be a type of person that if my nails weren't done, I wasn't going outside. Like it was a big deal. And that has started to not be a big deal. So um, yeah, that changed. Things that I love to do, I no longer was interested in doing. I My phone was on do not disturb a lot. Um, I wasn't active on social media a lot. Um, and then I also used sleeping as a coping mechanism um, to deal with the depression before I decided to uh, get medication. So a lot of people will use uh, drugs. A lot of people smoke weed, heavy weed smokers sometimes are using um, weed drugs, any type of drug to mask their depression. Whereas I was using sleep and it was making me more depressed because I would go to sleep and just wake up and be faced with the same issues that I had and the same feelings and the same, uh, yeah, everything going on would be the same. Nothing changed other than me getting an extra 10 hours of sleep a day. So um, that was making me even more depressed. And uh, yeah, those, those are like, and just hygiene. I, I wasn't being as hygienic. I, I mean, I would take showers, but it, it yeah. The hygiene could have been better. Um, I can admit that it is embarrassing as it, it, it is the hygiene could have been better um, and just really my thoughts were not um, my thoughts were all over the place and definitely having anxiety attacks so um, yeah those are um, those I would have to say were my signs and if you recognize any of those signs if you're just not feeling yourself and you can't shake it then you may want to go ahead and seek some help uh, anyways y'all I'm glad that we were able to talk I hope this update was helpful for you if there's any questions that you have that I missed please leave them in the comments 
yeah, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Uh, all that like good stuff. So, yeah, it's been real. Y'all be easy. Thanks for watching. Until next time.